Hi everyone, this is Munaiki Chandler. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Welcome to all the new visitors. This is a video for Black Beans Rose. Let's see all about her current energies. What's going on with her? What's she been up to lately? What's she been focusing on? So let's start. Let's go. Okay, the first three cards we get is the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. A lot of reaping rewards. She's been uh, obtaining a lot of uh, merit for what she's been doing. I think she's quite talented. And everyone appreciates everything she has to put out. And she's restless about this. She's never She never stops producing and doing things when it comes to music and uh, writing lyrics. She's always quite inspired to do something that it's it feels natural for her to produce and to make a lot of songs that carry a message from her inner being. And... Uh, it's it's lighthearted all of this it's it's a good feeling for her i don't think she's ever thought of doing anything else this is good this is what makes her so happy her heart is constantly singing and in tune and um moving towards the next project she's never stopping that's what keeps her magic her uh grandiosity she feels real she feels good when she's doing any music project and she's always surrounded by the best team for all of this uh, she's always gonna reap uh, a lot of success and a lot of uh, recognition everywhere I feel like she feels this is her responsibility in life that she's taken upon herself to do this to, to make everyone sing to this tune of her songs because she knows they carry magic and, and some sort of balance and, and theatrics I'm hearing. Maybe she's going to do a lot of theater as well. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have Judgment. Lovely. Oh my God, those two cards. And Ten of Pentacles. Wealth. A lot of wealth being created as we speak. Everything she's been doing, everything that she's going to put out, are going to bring her a lot of... Uh, retribution a lot of uh, greatness in everywhere in every way it's it's beyond what what you could expect like people i can see people that is not even interested in, in the genre in k-pop uh feeling connected or pulled to listen to her songs because they carry a, a a tonality is something that attracts them it's 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 quite inspiring she's gonna break the records as well i can see her making songs for movies she's gonna do the background music for uh, some films she doesn't take things slightly when it comes to the ultimate product like the the, the finishing of, of what she produces it's like her babies being brought up it's she gives so much love to every part of it and it's so loveful this is so wonderful i she's an aspire aspiring actress is that so in some way maybe maybe uh musical it just feels like something on the lines of uh, a lot of dancing and, and acting and, and producing songs for something. It's so good because uh, I can see her working with a lot of people that loves uh, doing all those things together. And she's been learning a lot from it. She's been uh, taking pati patiently uh, classes for uh, all this. And she's having a lot of fun with that. Being honest with you, she's having a lot of fun right now. Like she's being unbothered. She's feeling unbothered about anything or what anyone has to say about her. I think she's quite <laughs> generous with herself. And, and she appreciates every moment of her life. And she takes everything with a grain of salt. And she doesn't really care about what others say. She's 
currently feeling quite emotionally uh, and physically hyped up. And she's living the momentum that is rising around her. She's reaping the rewards. She's seen all the seeds growing. And this is fun for her. This is so good for her. She's loving it. I can feel her energy rising up. Extraordinary. So splendid. <laughs> I love it. This is what I love about doing readings for uh, people that are living their dreams. Because their energy is exceptional. Even if they go through moments of, uh, well, you know, all sorts. They find a way to... to, to crown themselves and I feel with her she sees a lot of potential in every situation it's like she can pull off any musicality any song from everything any turn of events and she loves it she likes it she is forever in touch with her feelings and she turns them into gold and it produces a lot of heat as I'm hearing yeah. You know what? There's a guy in all of this. I can't help but to see a guy. I don't know how uh, you're going to feel about this, but she's definitely seeing someone. There is a guy in her life, and he's got a lot to do with uh, her activities. Uh, he's uh, in the same field. I feel like that they are always having uh, conversations and working on music. She really respects uh, his output and the way he he does what he does. There's a lot of... And even I feel that like they are professionally related, like they like each other in that way, how uh, talented they both are. They have great ears, both of them. But it, it has crossed the line of of a friendship to... to this has a lot of potential to... to be long lasting you know this guy might be a little older this guy feels a bit older like five years around three to five years but she really respects him she likes him a lot and uh she's he's always looking out for her and i don't know it's, it, this is really good this is really good even if they haven't had anything romantic so far i think this is going to turn out like that even if she doesn't see it yet. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. You know, this is all about her opening up to this uh, new uh, opportunity. I think I've seen this in her previous readings when it comes to romance. Uh, there was someone coming her way, and I think this person is already in her life, and they've been uh, contacting each other a lot, maybe in, in a more professional way. And I think... She's finally opening up her heart to this person because she is the kind of person to feel to think things through a lot. She's quite rational and analytical. She loves to work a lot to to always share her ideas, to work in all of her projects, to keep herself busy. And uh, this person that is around her, it's like it's they are heating it up. Like they heat it up. They like each other, <laughs> and things might change. In, in the months to come I feel like love is going to get through her in a way that she can't escape it that she will just have to give in to surrender to it and it's going to be it's going to be so good for her it's going to change her perspective in every way about life oh my god this person is definitely older this person has been looking um uh, at her for a long time like she's been admiring he, her from for afar for a long time he likes her and i can say and i can tell you that he actually loves her he loves how pure she is wow and like it's feel like he's been waiting for so long already it was like love a first time He's been admiring, admiring her for a long time. He's a fan. But he's always in the business. At some point, he decided to approach her, to be near her. And he's showing himself as he is. What I love from... Oh, this person is prosperous. This person has a lot of success. 
and this person has been working since uh, he was very young. So he understands her in that way as well. And I think the main reason she hasn't opened up her heart to, 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 to live a romantic experience is maybe because most of the people that she's surrounded by is uh, famous people and she's got this assumption that uh, celebrities are not that, all that good or honest. That they are pretentious, that they are not showing themselves most of the time. This, this, she, they, she has a lot of preconceptions about this. So she has stopped herself from uh, dating people in general in the past. Even though she's liked, she took a liking and, and people uh, in the business. But I don't think she's ever gotten into a serious or romantic relationship with anyone. But this guy, he's working himself true <laughs> he's a hard-working person and uh, this might take a while but he's so resilient i love it <laughs> she's gonna like him oh this is so lovely so much love there's so much love for her so yeah um wow and the king wow she's got a lot of power and a lot of uh influence in the business so this is going to be very lovely. To, I think I've seen this in another reading. And if you see about her personality, career, and romance, there is a person, there's a guy that's going to take her. He will work with her and they're going to do something together in the future. And they're going to work together for a while. But in the future, they're going to have their own company, maybe. They're going to produce their own music. And they're going to be a power couple. They are both very good at what they do. And they're quite respected and loved and cherished. So this is where I'm going to leave the reading for Rosé. Thank you so much for tuning in so far and until the end. So I'm always uh, reminding you to go to my new TikTok channel account. It's uh, the same name as my YouTube account, Munaiki Channeler. I'm always sending you the best vibes. So much love and appreciation to you all. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.